Hi, I'm Stephen with AlbertaUrbanGarden.ca. Chickens and humans have a long history together. They were likely domesticated somewhere around 8,000 years ago in Asia, and up to today they're fairly commonplace on farms, acreages, and in some cities, chickens can provide a number of valuable services. They produce food, they can get rid of waste, and they can be a source of nutrients for your garden. On today's episode in the Testing Garden Assumption series, I'm going to take a look at chicken manure and bedding to see if it's of value to the garden and if it's safe to use at home. In today's video, I'm going to go through if chicken manure and bedding is a potential nutrient source for your garden, methods to apply those nutrients to your garden, and then finally risks associated with handling chicken manure. There are many papers such as this one in the Journal of Soil and Water Conservation that take a look at manures as a source of nutrients. These papers often find that resources like manure often have all of the beneficial and essential elements for plant growth, and a high proportion of them are in plant available forms, especially after they've been composted. This really should not be a surprise though. Chickens, especially in backyards, often eat a wide variety of foods, including kitchen scraps. When you then add in the bedding that is often added to the compost with the manure, it's usually made of straw, wood shavings, or autumn leaves. We've previously established in the Testing Garden Assumption series that these are a great source of nutrients for your garden. So if chicken manure has all of the nutrients that your plants need to grow and be healthy, why not apply them to the mulch layer, similar to other free and local resources we've spoken about in this series. Well, the reason being is chicken manure and other manures have such a high concentration of plant available nutrients, they'll often cause nutrient burn. Those nutrients will move into the soil in the rooting zone and cause osmotic pressure within the roots. It's a similar process to say, adding salt on top of those nasty slugs that do so much damage in our garden. It pulls out the water, dehydrating the slug, or in this case, the roots and killing the plant. A more stable way to get the nutrients into your garden is to compost the manure. By adding manure, which is a nitrogen rich source to a carbon source, such as wood chips or autumn leaves, you can create a hot compost fairly simply. After the manure has been broken down, it is safe to apply to the garden. Often, I will apply finished compost to my mulch layer of the soil, avoiding disturbing the rooting zone of the existing soil. I will go into no-till gardening in a future testing garden assumptions video. So now that we've established that chicken manure and its bedding contain quite a few nutrients that are valuable to a garden, and that composting allows you to hold on to those nutrients better while preventing nutrient burn, is the practice safe? The concern being is that chicken manure may allow for exposure to things that may make you sick, such as E. coli or salmonella. An interesting fact, those two bacteria that can make you sick also live naturally on your own skin, but in very low concentrations. Bacteria such as E. coli and salmonella, when they get in high enough concentrations and you come in contact with them, can cause illness. Chicken manure's nutrient-rich environment may allow these bacteria to increase in concentrations, increasing the chance that you may get sick if you come in contact. There are two ways to avoid the risk of bacteria growing in concentrations and the potential to make you sick. Proper housekeeping of your chicken coop and composting their manure. If you're looking for tips on the proper way to keep a chicken coop healthy and clean, I'd make sure to do your research. As I currently don't actually keep chickens, I don't have much experience with this. I do, however, have quite a bit of experience with small scale all the way to large scale composting and how it relates to dangerous bacteria that may cause you to become ill. The process of composting chicken manure has been shown to effectively kill most pathogens. When you hot compost manure, you will often get the pile over 55 degrees Celsius or 131 degrees Fahrenheit for more than a few days at a time. At temperatures this hot, the bacteria that can cause illness break down and die. The conclusions of this video, to me, is not really a surprise. That chicken manure is a great source of plant available nutrients for your garden and that it is safe to apply as long as it's been composted before. I don't currently actually use chicken manure in my garden for two reasons. The first is I don't have a readily available source and I'm not willing to go out and look too hard for it because the free and local resources that are generated either in my yard or in my kitchen have proven over the last three years to be more than enough nutrients to grow many, many healthy crops. Later this fall, I'm going to investigate whether or not I actually need to continue to apply the resources I do already at the rate that I've been applying them. I have a sneaking suspicion. I've got quite a bit of nutrients already in my soil and I may not need to add more. 
If you're interested in finding out how you can use free and local resources to fertilize your garden for free, check out the link on screen now and make sure to subscribe to catch all future episodes.